welcome to this video tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to integrate Google Maps with your Caspio data so that you can add more content to your website and give your visitors a nice visual in terms of where the locations are located. Before I show you how to create this functionality, let's take a look at our example application first. I have a database of all the libraries inside California. I can search based on a specific library or leave it as search any. And when I click search, I'm able to pull all my results on the left side. And on the right side, we have a Google map that pinpoints the location of each one of my libraries. So if I click on map it, it's going to open up that location. If I click on the details link for that library name, it's going to drill down to that specific library. It's going to show us a zoomed in map to the city. And inside the bubble, we can display any information pertaining to that library. And also on the left hand side, we have that additional uh, information that's pertaining to that specific library. So let's log inside our Caspio account and see how this application was built. When inside Caspio, give your application a name. I already named my application Map Mashup Demo. I'm going to click on Open and go directly to my tables. And here's my table that contains all of my libraries. I'm going to click on the design mode first so you can see the structure of the table. And in order to integrate Google Maps with your data, you will need four fields, address, city, state, and zip. You can either use these four fields to pinpoint locations, or if you have a longitude and latitude coordinates in your data, you can also use that as well. For our example, we're going to use these four fields. And if I navigate over to the data sheet mode, you'll be able to see all the records, including all the addresses, cities, state, and zip. Now, if you have data in your Access database or Excel or XML, you can always go to Tools and import your data directly into Caspio. And once you import your data and you have your table set up correctly, then you can go to Data Pages. And this is where you're going to build that report that embeds into your website. So we're going to click on New Data Page. You're going to select reports from this uh, left-hand navigation menu. And I'm going to go with the tabular format. That's the layout preference that I want to go with. We're going to click on Next. We're going to select our table that contains all of our data. And this is really how you link your table, your table to your data page or your report. Let's give it a name. I'm going to apply my pre-configured style to this data page. Know that you can always go to your styles down here below and fully configure the look and feel of your own style to match the look and feel of your website. As far as localization, I'm going to go with English and click Next. Yes, I would like to have a search form, so let's click Next here. And let's move all the fields that we would like to filter our data on. So I'm going to have three fields, library name, city, and maybe zip code. But note that you can also include other fields if you want to filter your data even more. Now let's configure properties for each one of my search fields. So library name is set up as a text field. To save time in our demo, I'm actually going to select this as a text field and have it be contains. In my demo that I showed you earlier, we, have, we made that field a dropdown, as you can see. And you can do that inside your account. You can just create a dropdown and configure the dropdown options. But I'm going to go with text field contains instead of equal. If you leave it as an equal, that means that you have to know the exact library name that you're searching for. I'm going to go with contains for all three of my fields. And click Next. And now what fields would I like to display on my results page? So let's look at our demo again. And on the results page, we're showing library name, city, and state. So we'll include library name, city, and state. Uh, I'm not going to make any modifications to my results fields. Click Next. I'm going to display 25 libraries per page. And here I'm going to enable a details page, but I'm actually going to make a specific field be my details link. And in this case, we're going to make the library name become our details link. If you look at the demo, this is what we're basically doing. We're making the library name become our details link. Click Next. And in the details page, I'm going to show all of my fields. And I'm not going to make any modifications to my details view. I'm going to go ahead and click on Finish. 
and here is my data page. I'm gonna go ahead and deploy this data page to my sample web page that I have. So I'm gonna click on deploy, enable access to it, copy this code, and here's my sample template where I plan on deploying that data page. Just because I wanted to show you exactly how you can deploy your data pages using Caspio, I'm gonna open up my HTML script in Notepad so we can deploy that code. And I'm actually gonna paste that code right in this part of my website. I do work directly inside HTML because I'm pretty technical myself, but if you are, and I've mentioned this in other videos, if you do uh, end up working with GoDaddy or Weebly or Wix, or Yola, just note that Caspio is compatible with those platforms as well, and you should be able to just plug and play your Caspio code in whatever part you wish to embed that application into. I'm gonna go ahead and save my page, and I'm gonna publish my website, and refresh it, and here is my search form. So all we have up to this point is the ability to search, see the results, and go to details. We're still missing our map on the right side, and we're gonna do that next. To configure a map using Google Maps inside Caspio, it is a standard feature. What you have to do is go to Caspio's homepage, click on the Support tab, Extensions, and on the left-hand side you'll see a link for Map Mashup, and down below you're going to see a, a link for View Map Mashup Instructions. You're going to click on that link, it's going to take you to our knowledge base, How To, and if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to be able to see this link here for lib.caspio.com, and if you click on it, this is your setup uh, wizard where you're gonna actually provide your Caspio credentials to log inside your account and be able to configure your map. I'm gonna go ahead and log in as one of my sample accounts that I have. And as soon as you log in, it takes you to the wizard and here's where you can adjust everything pertaining to your map. So the map that I want is maybe 500 pixels by 500. So we're gonna make it an equal width and height. I'm gonna go with the classic view map position you can uh, give it any country I'm going to have us say United States for the results page the default zoom level you can set it up however you want I'm actually going to have it go to state for default details page I have a zoom in on the city and zoom in marker you can also enable as well if you'd like then you have a few more options here for displaying uh, mouse over marker marker when it's clicked or never which basically means if you roll over your mouse over the pin or the icon, it's gonna open up that bubble, or only when you click it. Let's have this option here for our example. And then just read through the following checkboxes to see what kind of a option you wanna enable, and you can always go back and forth to see what you like. You can show traffic layer, if you wanted to display on your map where the traffic jams are, or how the traffic is for that specific location. I'll go ahead and disable that, click Next, and here you want to pull that data page from your account that you just created. If I go back to my Caspio account, I called it search libraries with map. So in the configuration wizard, we want to find that actual data page. So search libraries with map. You're going to click add. And now on the right side, you're going to actually configure everything that you like to display on the map as well. So if you had the longitude and latitude fields, you will be able to pull them inside this dropdown. But because I don't have those, I'm actually gonna use the address fields. I'm gonna remove the county field and just use my four fields for address, city, state, and zip code. Info in the window content, for now I'm just gonna put in library name. I'd like to go with this marker to display my uh, pins. You can also add your own custom marker if you uh, uh, do an image inside Illustrator or Photoshop and if you publish it you can put your reference here to replace our markers uh, and here you can also uh, manage some option he uh, options here as far as enabling map zoom marker or option or interactive to show and hide marker this link over here I called it map it so you can rename that if you want to and the advanced data page settings so I want to show the map on the details page I want to hide the map from the search form and um, for these two, I'm gonna leave these actually unchecked because I don't have different criteria in my results. I only have one. And then I'll go ahead and click Finish. And Caspio will automatically generate the code that you now need to copy and paste into your website. This first code, very easily, just go ahead and copy that. And inside your script, 
you want to paste that code directly above your Caspio deploy code that you just pasted earlier. So locate that code and paste your script right over here above it. Now you can also paste this script inside a header of your HTML document if you want to, but really easily you can also paste it right over here above the deploy code. Let's go back to our wizard. The next step is to paste this code inside our Caspio data page so we can hide the search so we can hide the map in our search form. So go back to the data page and edit. And what you're going to do, just go ahead and make sure you enable advanced options and parameters inside your data page. And inside the search form, when you get to configure properties, you're going to go ahead and insert an H, a header and footer. And let's take a look at our instructions again. It says, and add this code to the header of your uh, data page. So let's go back here and inside the header we're going to paste that code. And then let's go to the configuration properties for our results page fields. So we're going to add this code inside an HTML block. So we'll insert an HTML block, move it all the way down below our fields, and then we're going to paste that code in there. And then let's go to the details page. We're going to add another HTML block move it all the way down and then we're going to paste that very last piece of code inside our data page wizard like this when you're done go ahead and click finish and now what we have done if I go back to our example and if I click search or refresh notice that my map is actually going to show up in the upper left corner of my website and if I go to the details page it's also going to show up here as well so that means we have one last step to do in our map mashup instructions here. So if you go back to that how-to or our knowledge base, what you're going to need to do, once you go all the way down here, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to copy this little bit of code and paste that snippet of code anywhere in your web page where you wish to have that map embedded. So let me go back to my script. And right over here, I have designed a specific location for that map where I want to paste that little bit of script. And what's going to do that when I save my changes to my script and refresh my website now, notice that my map is actually going to show up right over here. So let's try again from search again, go from the beginning, click search. And here are all my results on the left hand side. But notice my map, and uh, I did this on purpose so I can show you how you can reconfigure the wizard. I'm actually zooming in a little bit too far. If I zoom out on the map, you'll be able to see those locations right over here. Okay, so let's go back to our configuration wizard. Let's go back. And then right over here, let's go back one more time. Notice that my results page is uh, on the state. So what I want to do here actually is zoom out a little bit. And why don't we go to... Um, maybe number six for a small country and let's see what that gets us click next come over here to finish and then all you have to do really is just uh, refresh your website click search and it's showing me California but I'm still too zoomed in if I zoom out there are my pinpoints let's go back to our de deploy code again and inside the script, what we're going to do for as far as the zoom level is we're actually going to zoom in a little bit further out. So we're going to say 6. I'm going to save my script. And on the website, we're going to start over again. Click search. See the results. And now notice we're zoomed out. We actually have the home position, California. We're displaying all of our pinpoints. I can click on map it to show me that specific map or I can go to the details to zoom in and be able to see the location zoomed in into the city and of course you can display any information you'd like inside a bubble. That concludes the tutorial on how to integrate Google Maps with your uh, Caspio data. If you end up having any questions, if you need some assistance, feel free to give us a call or send us an email and somebody from our technical team will be more than happy to assist you. Thank you for watching.